Hello everyone. So in this video, I just wanted to quickly talk about my experience of using Org Room. I have been using Org Room for a few weeks now. Although I was first introduced to Org Room last year, last year I made a lot of videos on uh, Emacs Org Mode, and uh, someone commented on my channel that do take a look at Org Room. You will love it. I did try it last year, but it was only just uh, half an hour of my time, and I did watch I think one or two videos. I liked the idea of Org Room that you can uh, connect notes to each other. And uh, what I was not really sure last year was uh, how Org Room is uh, different from Org Mode because even in Org Mode you can connect. or you can create links hyperlinks or not really hyperlinks but links between uh, two org files now that, honestly i think uh, i i i like org room i i am uh, quite uh, uh, happy with uh, the features so far although i don't really think i have reached the power user level of org room but i have been i have been of course uh, playing with it i was able to set it up on my on my uh, computer and uh, i have been making videos i think i made like 3 or 4 videos so far uh, one thing that i really like about org room is uh, the ability to not only create notes easily but uh, the whole idea of linking these notes to each other and uh, refer one note to 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 um, i mean when you're looking at let us say one linked note you can actually trace it back to the original idea so i think when you're working with uh, some kind of i'll probably give you an example of book writing and i'll also give you an example of uh, taking notes in general i take lot of notes whenever i'm learning new thing i i make i, I make of course you know uh, documents uh, nothing but org file of course but uh, uh when you're working within a big document sometimes it is a bit uh, difficult especially when you have a uh, lot of references to other documents other org files and of course you can link them together but uh, uh org files or within org mode it won't really uh, give you any view to have this consolidated uh, place where you can uh, see all these interconnections So this is something that I really appreciate. I mean, of course, uh, you have this graphical view which I showed you in my previous video. But uh, within your Org Room, you can also do the same thing. You can actually uh, see all the backlinks. I guess I'm still trying to figure out uh, the best way to visualize. I think I like the idea of uh, having this visualization uh, in your browser. Of course, you can uh, when you run the Org Room uh, graph command, it will it will create this file for you, and and of course you can uh, open it. in your browser but at the same time you can also uh take a look at the backlinks when you're working within your uh, emacs so i i quite like it and i think uh, especially when you are uh, especially when you're taking lot of notes uh, uh i i i keep sometimes i sometimes i struggle because when i have whenever i have to keep uh, a list of activities that uh, require uh, uh some kind of reference to other uh other org files i struggle i struggle a bit of course you can manage everything within uh, one document which i have been doing whenever i have to let us say uh, i have to uh, make uh, or write a big document for example i'll probably show you one of my blog so what i do when i'm working with uh, org mode i do write um, big documents so for example this particular uh, blogging with emacs and org mode this is one uh, one blog which is of course published online but for me it is like my own local repository of different things that you can do and if you look at this particular document uh there there are some uh, uh, some references like sometimes i use foot like bookmarks sometimes i uh, link it to other places but uh, but i do f- sometimes feel that you know with the help of uh, I, i mean i'm sure within org mode you can do few things to bring in information from other places but uh, 
uh, I believe when you are uh, using org room, uh, you can actually, uh, uh, of course, link nodes together. But if if required, you can also bring in the information from those linked nodes. So I'm still trying to understand uh, how I can use that in my workflow. And of course, uh, uh, if I have anything significant to share, I will also make a video for you for you guys. But I think I quite like the idea of this visualization. This this is definitely one of my favorite uh, feature so far. There are so many other things that you can do with Org Gnome. I am, of course, you know, not rushing into it. I'm not really reading the documentation for hours. I'm trying to uh, I'm trying to implement one thing at a time for my workflow. And this is also my advice if you're trying to learn something. Let us say if you're trying to learn Org Mode, don't try to like implement each and everything. Uh, don't try to watch like plenty of videos. In the beginning, try to do simple things and do one thing at a time that will uh, maybe bring in an improvement to your existing workflow. So, so far, uh, my usage of our Chrome is limited to taking a lot of notes, basically you're doing some kind of brainstorming and of course this uh, visualization. And, as, uh, and, and, and of course, uh, I, will, uh, I will keep on sharing my, my journey if I have anything significant to share. I do have a few things that I wanted to talk about, but I'm still trying to configure things for my workflow especially when you're writing uh, a book, for example. I, I like uh, writing big documents where I keep, uh, where, where basically I dump each and everything. For example, uh, on one of my blog, I'm basically writing this, uh, um, I mean, if you know me, I started using Arch Linux last year and uh, I have been maintaining this uh, big file this document where I'm keeping track of each and everything like how to install it and then all the things configurations that I have been doing and uh, the challenge is that sometimes you need to uh, refer to other locations I mean uh, writing big file is fine but it, it may not be applicable for each and every uh, use case in those cases of course uh, linking documents together makes sense which or Chrome can uh, can do uh, very easily because uh, you know you have the commands to basically but when you're working on the document I think I, I think in my second video I showed this like when you're working in the doc within a document you can uh, create a linked note on the fly so uh, not only you are creating a link but you're also creating that node so when you're working on this is my first note this is of course one org file if you have to link it to let us say one more note you can do that uh, but one more note uh, need not exist uh, in like when you are uh, in this particular uh, buffer you can actually create this one more note this new file and at the same time link it and when you're when you're doing this uh, it is actually very simple it is like you know you open this uh, buffer a separate buffer you open this uh, or you create this linked note you close it and you're back to the original node so I think the speed is is uh, I mean, I mean the, the way you can create these different nodes and the linking them together is really efficient uh, in uh, Org Gnome and, uh, and I quite like it. So that is all I wanted to talk about in this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this video and you, and you learned something new today. Thank you very much. Bye bye.